<laughs> Welcome, scientists, to Nefarious, the mad scientist game. In Nefarious, you are rival mad scientists, and your goal is to be the first to take over the world. <laughs> Using ingenious inventions, dastardly plots, and crazy schemes, build your inventions to score 20 points and win the game by becoming the world's most powerful mad scientist. <laughs> This two to six player game is all about espionage, building inventions, and plotting against other players. You will get spies, invention cards, money, and action cards for your nefarious purposes. <laughs> Since you are mad scientists and this game is all about espionage, you get five spies for the game. You each get to start with 10 coins from the bank and also start with a hand of three invention cards. Let's take a quick look at these invention cards. In the upper left is a gold coin, which is the cost of the invention. You pay the bank to build the invention. In the lower left, the blue number is the victory points that the invention is worth. The bottom of the card shows any special effects that take place for inventing a particular item. All effects are a one-time use. The green arrows apply to you, the active player, and the red arrows apply to the other players. Sometimes there will be a plus sign which will benefit you, and a minus sign that can harm you or other players. Now that we have looked at our starting setup, let's take a look at the action cards we will be using each turn. <laughs> Notice that you have the following action cards. 1. Espionage 2. Invent 3. Research 4. Work on each turn, players will choose one of these actions and simultaneously reveal their actions at once. You resolve those actions in numerical order during the round. They each correlate to a zone on the board. Each card also describes an action, and we'll discuss that in more detail now. The espionage action recruits a spy. You tell that spy to go out into the world and spy on other players. Each zone has a different cost for recruiting a spy, as indicated on the board and action cards. These spies are for gathering information which comes back to you in the form of money. The only players you can actually spy on are your neighbors to your left and right. Since this is a simultaneous action selection game where everyone reveals their actions at once, you get to see each other's actions. Your spies only pay out for the action choices of players to your immediate left and right. After revealing, but before resolving the chosen actions, players collect income from spies. Each spy earns you $1 from the bank each time an adjacent player chooses the action your spy is on. If you have two spies out in a chosen zone, then you would collect $2 for three spies, $3, etc. Allocate your spies to espionage early in the game. Because once the other player's spies have been assigned, there will be no need for them to play the espionage action in future turns, so you won't be collecting from spies in that zone. Also, for espionage, you don't have to pay to put a spy on this zone. This is indicated on the card as well as the board. The invent action is used when you are ready to build an invention. You simply lay the card out in front of you and pay the bank the amount that is indicated on the card. Since this is also a game about inventing, and in order to win the game you will need to invent, at some point you will probably have to have at least one spy on the invent space, even though it costs two coins to place a spy here. <laughs> All cards show a blue number which represents victory points for scoring. Some cards have invention effects, shown at the bottom of the card, which describe how you and or other players are affected. The green arrows represent an effect for you, the inventor, and the red arrows represent effects to all other players. All effects of the inventions occur in the same order in which they appear on the card. If a card has no invention effects, just use the victory points in scoring. 
There is a key in the rulebook for a helpful look at the different icons. The research action represents you working in your lab and getting paid. <laughs> that action gives you money and allows you to draw another invention card. While some invention cards give you a chance to draw additional cards, the research action allows you to gain a card and money. The work action allows you to build up your resources and get paid, which allows you to earn more money to build your inventions. <laughs> Those are the four action cards that you play each round. Choose and reveal an action card to play. Spies collect money from the actions selected by neighbors. And then players execute the actions in numerical order. You repeat these steps until the first player reaches 20 victory points and wins the game. One of this game's unique features is the twist cards. <laughs> Twists add additional directives that create even more madness on your journey to world domination. At the start of the game, two random twists are drawn and placed on the board. These remain active throughout the whole game. There are 36 twists in the game to allow for a ton of replayability. Here are a couple of twist card examples. The twist card, Blood, Sweat, and Mice, gives more money to the work action, so you earn six coins instead of the usual four. <laughs> With the twist college graduates, you get to draw a card when you put a spy on the board. This is helpful at the beginning of the game, when you're playing espionage and putting your spies in the zones. Now, let's recap. <laughs> One. The goal is to be the first to take over the world by building inventions to score 20 victory points first. 2. Everyone reveals their action cards simultaneously. Collect income for your spies and then resolve actions in numerical order each round. Espionage, invent, research and work. 3. The only way to put spies in the zones is to play the espionage action. Think of espionage as a bet. You are betting on what actions your neighbors are going to play on future turns. 4. After spies have been recruited and placed in the zones, inventors invent. 5. Then researchers research. 6. And workers work. Good luck with your plans to take over the world! Do you have what it takes to be the most nefarious? <laughs>